On our channel we usually make reviews about motorbikes uh, and technically this uh, vehicle which I am sitting on uh, is not a motorbike. Uh, of course the, the quads are more or less uh, similar to the motorbikes because of the seat position but this vehicle which was born in Hungary and 14 years ago and uh, has very very special technical solutions uh, is much closer to a car than a, a quad. Uh, but anyhow, it's a, such a special thing that we want to show it to you. The name of the vehicle is Diora uh, 6x6. Uh, it's coming from that the uh, builder who made it, the constructor of the vehicle, uh, is a friend of mine. His name is uh, Shandor Alexander Dioshi and that's why it is called Dio and the 6x6 of course is meaning that all the six vehicles are driven. But uh, there is no real technical basis of uh, this vehicle uh, and it has a nickname uh, which is uh, coming from uh, once on a, an event. Uh, the spectators watched it and they said that it's looking like a caterpillar. Let's check out what is it moving from. Uh, the engine uh, is uh, positioned behind the drivers and the passengers because it's a two-person uh, vehicle uh, seat. Uh, this, this is a 1.6 liter Grand Vitara, Suzuki Grand Vitara engine. It has a very, very slight electronical uh, changing. So the overall power output of it is at the moment 100 and 10 brake horsepower and really this is the highest uh, weight uh, position of the whole vehicle. There are a lot of irons and uh, differentials and everything else uh, under it. So all in all the uh, center of gravity is extremely low. It's only 58 centimeters from the gravel. Let's check out the technical solutions of the Caterpillar even a bit more. For this I open the whole rear section of the vehicle. About the engine we have already been speaking. Uh, another interesting thing is the cooling system. As the cooler is not positioned to the front as in a normal car, but to the rear, uh, there is no uh, normal ventilator, but two turbine, uh, uh, turbines are sucking out the hot air uh, from the engine. Uh, this is the highest point where the air is going in which cannot get water and everything under it is absolutely water resistant and uh, the deepest water the caterpillar can move in is 150 centimeters so one and a half meters and uh, next interesting thing is that the three differentials of the vehicle are uh, all uh, compression moved and the compress compressor of it is uh, positioned here. So this is a really special technical solution which was absolutely developed by the builder uh, Alexander, the builder of the vehicle. And uh, let's speak a few words about the transmission. Uh, it's clearly seeable that the Caterpillar is having a Suzuki uh, automatic transmission but all the other solutions are really special if we open the driver's or rider's seat we can see that uh, here is the original uh, automatic transmission and from here the from the three axles let's, let's call them A, B and three, uh, C axles so these are the three axles of the Caterpillar the first the A and the third the C are driven by the original uh, system and there is a reductor built in front of the uh, off-road uh, changer and uh, from here the B axle the central axle is uh, separately uh, driven and uh, there are uh, different possibilities uh, it's possible that the vehicle is uh, driving only the B axle this is uh, for the let's say paved road moving uh, it's possible to make a 6x6 six six, and uh, there is a low uh, drive which you can also uh, activate but it is not uh, half but a quarter let's check out the front section as well because here are going to be interesting technical solutions as well as everywhere in this uh, special vehicle 
the brake system is a normal let's say car brake so there is only one uh, brake pedal which is affecting on all the six brakes and it has a servo uh, which is also coming from a Suzuki car so this is not nothing special the steering system is much more interesting I have to start the engine for it at least we can hear the sound of it uh, because uh, this is uh, let's say a, a quad steering so the ratio is absolutely different from the car's st steering which is necessary for this uh, this is the servo of the steering so the power steering uh, which is coming from the Suzuki as well but uh, the ratio of this axle which is coming from the uh, steering bar itself and the axle which is going into the power steering uh, unit uh, have to move totally different so here is a ratio changer which makes it four times uh, faster so if you check out as this and this axle are moving you can clearly see uh, the big speed difference and that's why the steerability of the caterpillar is so effective and there is one more interesting thing this small unit which is making that uh, uh, the vehicle can brake only the right and only the left side brakes as well so if the driver is pushing this little button with uh, his or her left thumb uh, it is working that uh, in this way only the right brakes and in this way only the left brakes are activated there is not too much missing that we already start with the caterpillar to ride it uh, but first of all let's speak only a very few words about the suspension itself uh, on all the six points uh, the travel of the wheels is 50 centimeters so half a meter and the whole suspension is uh, constructed to be pretty soft so as uh, the constructor of the vehicle promised me it's going to really uh, move on the even the hardest terrain like uh, like a real caterpillar so soft and comfortable uh, of course this 50 centimeter travel is uh, working on a way that the negative and the positive travel is also 25 25 centimeter so uh, the the wheels can move out uh, pretty uh, much as well for the absolute safety the caterpillar is having uh, winches in the front and in the rear as well and if once we have this possibility then we lift up the whole one ton vehicle with it and we check it out from the bottom of it as well if we go under the caterpillar we can see several other interesting things for example the compression air move the differential locks which were developed by the constructor of the vehicle and we already mentioned them in the beginning of the review one more interesting thing and as the engine is built into the caterpillar in the opposite direction than into the car it was so when the vehicle is moving to the front then the engine is always working in a reverse mode and uh, this was solved on a way that the differentials themselves were built up uh, built into the vehicle uh, on the opposite way uh, originally the shaft is would go here in the down part of it here in the caterpillar is going to the upper part of it and it means that it makes another uh, safety rest uh, when uh, we are driving on hard terrain speaking one more thing about the differentials the front one the a axles are uh, is built uh, to the center but the rear ones are built uh, the b axles to the right side of the vehicle and the c axles in the rear to the left side of the vehicle it has several uh, advantages first of all um, when uh, there is a bump in the middle of the road then the uh, rear differentials are in a safer position and as the shaft drive is going back to the uh, c axles uh, differential you can see that this was the only way to uh, solve that it is not uh, getting uh, in contact with the engine itself and if once the caterpillar is hanging in the air uh, let's check out the front suspension for a last moment uh, we can see uh, that uh, uh, the springs top and the bottom part are also fixed with the uh, uh, screws so it means that uh, it's really possible that uh, the spring is moving out without uh, leaving its uh, top or bottom position so it's absolutely fixed and it makes it possible that the negative 
uh, travel of the wheel is just the same as the positive one. That's why we have this uh, 50 centimeter uh, travel. But let's put it down to the gravel and let's go and ride with it. Uh, for from safety reasons, first I sat only to the rear seat and we are checking this uh, small uphill, which is uh, from this point is looking pretty bad uh, because there are there is a big hole here on the right side. But honestly, from here it was really nothing. Alexander said in the beginning that it's going to be nothing and it was really bad. Let's check out how uh, Seria Suzuki Samurai is coming up on the same place. So here we could see that with the caterpillar it was really nothing. Uh, here we already had some differential problems. One more attempt. This is an absolutely serial car. Very, very hard. Even the differential is reaching the middle of the road. And there is, there is simply no traction for the car. Alexander said that we are going to go downhill here. It's, I don't know, approximately 50, 60 meters down and it's looking like a wall. I honestly, I do not really want it, but things must happen. So let's go. Oh my God, how is it looking like? Unbelievable. Oh, it is a big, big stone. When I'm going to be able to try the caterpillar, it's absolutely sure that I am not wanting to come down here alone. Alexander said that we are going to go uphill here on the same place as we were coming down. Honestly, I do not want it really. I think this is going to be the last on road dot bike review which you see with me. And the caterpillar is working like a real animal and fing up we are up. There is this even tougher uphill here with this big stone uh, and Alexander said that he's going to come up here as well uh, honestly I got off from the rear seat now and we check it out from the outside There are a few small, let's say, half-ton stones here beside me. Alexander said that uh, for the caterpillar is nothing to move, move through them. Let's check out this one as well. Now, let's look. The time has come, I can move a little bit with the caterpillar, so the automatic gearbox is going to D. The throttle is a normal motorbike throttle and the brake is under my left heel. Let's check out how is it moving. Very strange at the moment. I check out the brake, how effective is it and how the whole vehicle is turning at all. Let's check out the brake efficiency stopping like if I hit a wall and this noise the sound of the engine the power and everything is very very nice feeling of course I am absolutely not brave with it at the moment and here is a little bumpy road with pretty pretty huge bumps with the motorbike it's we can say sporty let's check it out wow Really, if I am flying over the, over the terrain, nothing special feeling, absolutely delicious, oh, like a dream. I'm sure there is no other vehicle which is working like this. Now I'm going to try this uh, separated brake system. I push the button to the left side, give some throttle and the caterpillar is really turning around its middle axle. <laughs> Alexander said that there is one more down and uphill which I have to try. Oh, from this point I'm not absolutely sure about it. It's going down pretty much and there are some holes in it and it's very, very thick sand. And it's really necessary to push this heel brake extremely hard. But it was nothing to come down, honestly. And he said that I have to go uphill as well on this one because it's just a game. 
so I make a U-turn and try it uphill as well as a final attempt. Let's try out this separated braking as well. It makes the turning of the caterpillar extremely narrow, much, much smaller than it would be expected. So this is the uphill. From here it's not looking too nice, but we must not go close the throttle anytime. Just push, 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 push. And it was really nothing for the caterpillar to come up here. <laughs> very, very impressive. It's really unbelievable that such a vehicle was constructed and built here in Hungary 14 years ago and still working like a dream and able to do things which are maybe no other vehicle is able to do in the whole world. I am just impressed unbelievably uh, because of it. If you liked our review, please push a thumb up on it. In the description you can find the link where you can donate our work. If you do it, then we send all of our films to you before they become public. And of course we will be able to make several wonderful vehicle uh, reviews like this. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe for our channel as well and watch our previous contents. Thanks a lot for your kind attention.